Good afternoon, and we're live at the ICRS, is the International Christian Retail Show, and we are delighted to have a fabulous visitor stop by and drop in on us, Stormy Omardian. Oh, it's a pleasure Thank to be here. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. This You're is welcome. wonderful, and I know that you are uh, out promoting a brand new book, actually yes. a very, very old book, <laughs> yes, very with old a book. new spin on it, yes. and it's a Bible. It's the, yes. uh, it's the new international version, exactly. right. but it's been infused by a lot of your, um, yes. I was going to say wisdom and your own uh, little antidotes and, and scriptures and, and mementos. And, yes, and, and this is this The is Power it. of a Praying Woman Bible. Yes. And I should mention right off the bat that this Bible is for men and women. Yes, so even is, though the is. cover is very, um, what do I want to say, pastel, yes. that it is for men and women. Yes, and so absolutely. This is thrilled. Now, I'd love for you to share with our viewers a little bit about how this study Bible is different than all of you know the other study Bibles that are out right. there. Right, right. It's a prayer Bible, and in that, I mean, I emphasized all the um, things about prayer, um, the way it was demonstrated in the Bible, the the people of prayer, how they prayed, uh, how Bible is described, uh, how uh, prayer is described in the Bible, um, how um, it is. Um, you know, the examples of where people should have prayed and didn't, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or um, they should have prayed sooner. Right, know. right. Um, but um, I wanted to give a, uh, a tool to people uh, so that they could enhance their own prayer life. Right. And so what I did with this book is try to make it so that uh, people could pray biblically. Mm -hmm. In other words, include scripture in their prayers. Absolutely. And, um, uh, and also to read the word prayerfully. So mm -hmm. as they're reading, it will inspire them to pray not only about issues outside of their own lives, but, but their own lives as well. So everything in here is very practical. Absolutely. And, you know, but how to pray. And, that's, and I, I think obviously you're very well known for the power of praying wife power of a praying husband in those books and what's so what I love about the your style of really um, I guess it, putting out there how to intertwine and infuse scripture the yes. power of actually praying scripture yes and the word of God in order to um, you know really come before God and say this is it this is what I need and so many times yes. we find ourselves not even knowing how to um, you know, ask for what it is that right. we need. We're so, you know, you right. can be in a desperate situation, yes. and all of a sudden the words just don't come. Yes, you don't even know And that's what is so fantastic you know? about how you have delivered such a profound truth that you really need to pray in the scriptures and the power behind yes, the word of God. And it's, I know that it's delivered, and there's a couple of the elements that I know you have from the heart of storming yes, right. in the sections, and then it dives a little deeper. So yes. share a little bit about how you've kind of infused some of those thoughts. Yeah, there's, there too. there's seven sections, there's okay. seven, uh, seven different kinds of sections okay. throughout the whole Bible. Right. One of them that you talked about from Stormy's Heart, that uh, are one pa those are one-page articles that I have written about issues that we all face um, right. and, and what the scriptures say about them. Depression, anxiety, um, a confession, and the importance of it in your life, the importance right. of obedience, right. Absolutely. Uh, how to trust God in the tough times, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. are, are, are all those articles are about things like that that right. are really the, deep, heart, the daily, yeah. but the deep. You yes. can't run away from those. Exactly. So. Then the, the section called Deeper Issues, this is uh, taking a piece of scripture, I mean, uh, a, a section of scripture, maybe uh -huh. two or three verses, right. and talking, uh, um, going deeper into that, what it's trying right. to, um, it's what it's saying, mm -hmm. and helping people to understand it on a deeper level as it applies to their lives. Right. You know? Now, have, are some of these, I mean, I would assume that probably some of these over the years are wisdom and just yes. little bits of knowledge yes. that you've gleaned yes. in different absolutely. circumstances that the Lord has said, here's some revelation. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And that's what I love about it, because... Nothing's new. We don't recreate, you know, something yes. always or has been or always will go through something we've gone oh, through. Oh, yes, absolutely. So to be able to, and I, I know when we were talking earlier, I was, before the interview, I love this because it really is sort of this little cliff notes of the Bible. Yes, I mean, it is. you really, if you need to grab it, you right. need to look something up or you just want to find if there's a, a new twist on a, a scripture that maybe you're missing. Yes. This is a fabulous tool. I yes, love it is. how this is set and up. I've, all, I've drawn out everything else that pertains to prayer. Right. Even in talking in the introduction to each book of the Bible, I talk about mm -hmm. how this book 
pertains to prayer, how prayer right. is important in that book and how right. it's important in your life and the way, ways that you can pray for your own life in light of, this, of what it says about prayer in that book. And one of the features I have is the prayer is, what prayer is. And I've just described just one or two sentences about what prayer is. You know, prayer is right. basically communicating with God. Right. But it's a lot of other things, too. Right. You know, and, and when you read those things, it helps you, it inspires you to pray. You know, right. and, and another one, another uh, section is just called prayer, and I take a scripture and pray it. You know, oh. write it, write it into a prayer. Into a prayer. And I'm doing you that. See, I love that. Yes. Because again, you, a lot of times you just are at a loss for how to yes, do this. And exactly. it really is, um, for lack of a better word, a skill. It's it, almost it educating ourselves on how to pray effectively. It will, and that, that's what it will do. And because you'll get used to reading those, and you'll see how to take a scripture and pray it. Mm -hmm. For example, the Romans 8.28, all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to His purpose. And right. you just begin to pray that, saying, if you're going through a tough time, especially mm -hmm. when you're not seeing any good come out of it right now, you know, right. you, right. you pray. Right, right. Word is a sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You say, so. God, thank you. Yeah. Your word says that all things work together for good. And in the few verses before that are talking about prayer. So right. if you're praying, all things work together for good. You know, that is that is really the key. Right. If you're praying, all things work together for good. Now, I, I love God. Thank you, God, that I have a relationship with you. I, I sense your love and I love you. And right. I am called according to your purpose. Right. Therefore, you are going to work good out of this situation. And right. a prayer like that, which is backed up by Scripture, mm -hmm. is powerful. It really by God's is. promise. Yes. That's the point. Yes. It's all backed up by God's promises. Absolutely. I mean, the whole Bible is full of the analogies, the promises, God's yes. word. Yes. And so many people cannot you know, tap into, they don't understand the significance or, you know, yes. the whole thought of prayer is, at least I would say in Western culture, you know, Eastern culture, there's more of this mystifying yes. thing. Yes. In our Western culture, it's very hard for people to get their head around the fact that right. you're communicating, you know, on a spiritual level, on yes. a supernatural level, yes. truly. Yes. And there is power in that. There is. But we sometimes just can't get it, get that, you yes. know, right. unless it's, it's a, a lot of okay, why doesn't he answer it instantly? Yes. Why doesn't right. he do this? Well, because they have not learned how to really yes. effectively play God's promises yes. and Absolutely. the Word of God. Absolutely. It's so powerful to do that. Yes. And yes. another one of the features that I have in there is called, What Did Jesus Say? And I, yeah, it's I in love the, this. It's in the beginning of the Bible. Uh -huh. And it's a, a section I took every word that Jesus said and put it into a category, <laughs> every sentence he said and put it into categories. So if you want to find out what Jesus said about adultery or about divorce or about children right. or about anxiety or, or about faith, all of these things, all about 50 or so categories. I didn't actually count them. I think mm -hmm. it's about how many there are. And, and um, if you want to find out what Jesus said about that, it's so great. That's sort of the Cliff Notes part yeah, that yeah, I was talking yes, about. It's yes. like, you know, because... Sometimes at the top of your head, you're trying to think, oh, yes. my friend is going through this. Yes. What is the scripture for, yes. you know, depression? What, right. you know, really, what can I, what can I just drum up? Yes. Because we really just can't always have them at the top of our right. head. We right. all have our favorite scriptures. Yes, right. But exactly. to make them relevant to someone else. Right. Uh, and it's, I think it's going to be such a handy tool. It's something I, I am going to be using myself yeah. because I've always wanted to have that. I love to read what Jesus said about things. Yeah. And this way I can just go right to the one, mm -hmm. you know, the category that I want and the topic I want. find it. And like yeah. I said, you know, earlier that you know, it's for men as well, but this, yes. this is a, it is a resource. It yes. is a study Bible, and I love yes. that you've incorporated all those elements into that because there are yes. so many study Bibles out there. Right. And, you know, there are times where I've opened a few of them, and it's almost like a study within a study. Yes. I'm like, okay, this is not, what I, you yes, know, I like just homework. wanted to read the scripture. I'm not getting what I need out yes. of this. This wasn't exactly what I was hoping to get from this kind of thing, and there, yeah, there's a lot of work. It's like doing yeah. homework. Well, especially and just... when you want, want a devotional Bible. This is a right. devotional prayer Bible right. in your in your daily devotions with the Lord. Right. Scripture should inspire you to pray. It Absolutely. always should. And when you're praying, you should include scriptures in there somewhere. You know, right. and because it gives them such a substance and such power, you right. know, and it increases your faith. And so mm -hmm. that's that's why I'm excited about this. I can't wait for uh, people to have it yeah. and to see it. And Do you want to share real quickly, maybe, on how you know how this whole the, the power of praying oh, woman yes. came about? Yeah, because this whole concept of how prayer became so important. effective and yes. important in your life yes. that was so pivotal. So cool. why don't you share a little bit about that? Well, I was uh, raised in a, an abusive situation. My mother was mentally ill, and uh, mm -hmm. she was very abusive, and and. And she locked me in the closet much of my early childhood. Mm -hmm. And she was verbally and physically abusive, too. But that's the thing that really affected me the most. It made me so afraid and so right. anxious and, and um, so depressed. I mean, so hopeless feeling.
thing, you know, all that. And so um, I went through all kinds of things, you know, trying to find a way out of that pain. I went through right. Eastern religions and occult practices and unhealthy relationships. Your journey, your search, just yeah. anything. Yes, trying to find An something, answer. yeah, drugs, alcohol, anything that would just stop mm -hmm. the pain. And um, by the time I was 28, I was just at the end of everything. I, I, I just wanted to die. I was just planning my suicide. And that's when a friend took me to meet her pastor, who was Pastor Jack Hayford at Church on the Way, and he's the one who... Not a bad pastor not, to take no, you to. <laughs> he's, just, he's so priceless. Aww. He's so priceless. And um, he, he's the one who talked to me about the Lord, and I received the Lord in his office. And I... After I received the Lord, I started going to church, started reading the Bible, right. hearing him teach out, out of the Word. But I still had depression. And so uh, I was, I, these depressions would just hit me, and I'd just be mm -hmm. like paralyzed with them for two weeks at a time. Right. And my husband said, I met my husband there in church and, and married him, and he suggested that I go to the counseling office at the church. And, and mm -hmm. I went there, and they had me fast and pray and, and come back, and we... Um, one of the things I had to do was just confess all my my sins, be, you know, uh, that right. I hadn't confessed, and dive a little deeper, and confess my unforgiveness mm -hmm. toward my mother, and just uh, renounce all my occult practices right. and things like that. Right. And but the, uh, when I when I, I did all that, they prayed for me. These these two pastors' wives prayed for me, and I felt that depression lift. I I physically felt it lift. I mm -hmm. thought, wow, this is like taking an aspirin, you know, the pain goes away, this is yeah. great, I can come can back. Well, you Where know what, that is, it's physical manifestation, it's, yes, it you is. feel it. When yes. it comes off, it's... it's, it's you feel yeah. it, exactly. Yeah. So I thought, well, this is going to come back, and when it comes back, yeah. I'll just be right back here in the office, you know. <laughs> but it didn't come back. That was so amazing. Wow. It didn't come back the next morning. I usually woke, woke up depressed, and mm -hmm. it didn't come back, and it didn't come back every day, it didn't come back. You almost wait, you're waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to come back, <laughs> and I just know I'm going to call yeah. the office, you know. And it didn't come back, and it never came back like that. And um, I'm not saying I never got depressed or anything like that because there's depressing things that happen in life, but I right. never was paralyzed by it. But it wasn't symptomatic like no, it was. No, exactly. I was always able to discover the Lord. And so that is where I became a believer in the power of prayer. I was already a believer in the Lord, but I began to see what right. God will do right. you know, when people pray. And, Absolutely. And, so that's, and I began to have prayer groups in my house, and we had prayer groups for married couples. We had prayer mm -hmm. groups for people praying about their children. We had prayer right. groups for people in ministry. All that kind of thing and throughout of these prayer groups that we have for all these different things is where all these books on prayer came about yeah, you know the, the power of praying wife right. power of praying husband power of praying parent right. all of, I don't know how many there are in the series now but seven or eight you know right all but it's out of just that. so you know what's so amazing is that God is God and a lot of times people will look back at you know the early Old Testament books and think you know stories like Moses these big grandiose yes. stories yes, and right. you know today it's like People need to tap into that. That that's the same God. Same that God. when you are praying for a miracle, yes. when you are praying for something that's in instantaneous, yes, or whether exactly. it's not, that faith to connect with those, you know, those weren't just random mythical individuals. Yes. Those were real people. And yes. God answered those prayers that's, that's in right. mighty ways. Absolutely. And so for people to understand and tap into the fact that God is God. Yes. His love is he never changes. He's never changed. Mm -hmm. His love yes. is still the same today as it was yes. back then. That yes. who we are same power. can be same transformed. Power. It's the same power. And yes. the principles are so I think very relevant in your books, oh, and I think yes. that it really comes through and really speaks to people. It does, and people need that. People like, need to know when you feel powerless in your life, you need to know that there's a power greater right. than anything you can conjure up. Right. The power of God, and you have to tap into it through prayer. Right. And God will pour that power into you and, and mm -hmm. through you to see things happen when you pray. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wrote uh, the prayer Bible. I didn't write the Bible. The Bible is exactly the same. Right. That's what I want to yeah, say. It's yeah. an old book. It's, it's the, the same book. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and all the things that I so. wrote are, are, are highlighted in color in mm -hmm. there and then a plum color in fact I don't know if I can show yeah, you absolutely. but I'm just going to show you this is the color on the inside so everything that I wrote on the inside is, is highlighted in color like, okay. like that so that you see you're going deeper right this is know, the going deeper yeah, section right exactly mm -hmm. and so all these sections are all the way through and um, so you can distinguish what I've written from <laughs> what God wrote in yeah. there don't want to get <laughs> those two confused <laughs> yeah exactly but uh, what I wrote in there is what God has taught me taught right. me through all these years right about the power of prayer and I am so excited about it. I've seen so many answers to prayer mm -hmm. and I want other people to see those kind of answers absolutely. to prayer in their own absolutely. lives. Absolutely. And know? I think too, it's the, you've got the testimony too. Sometimes people yes. go, oh well they can write about that but whatever. They, don't, yeah, yeah. they didn't live it, they didn't experience it. Oh I lived it. And it's so <laughs> wonderful that yeah. you bring the testimony. You are a living, walking testimony yes. of what God's yeah, truly what God redeeming. You're 
beautiful inside and out. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much for oh, stopping by today. It has pleasure. been an absolute pleasure, and thank you. I am thrilled. And this comes out September first. September first. So this yes. will be available, and I'm going to hold it up for our camera. This is yes. Power of a Praying Woman Bible. And again, this is for men as well. So for those men in yes. your life, um, definitely, this is going to be wonderful. And yes. I look forward to this coming out. Thank so. you. This is the feminine cover here. There's another one coming out with a, a, a deep, deep plum the suede. Plum. The more masculine, masculine cover. cover. All right. Yes, exactly. Wonderful. <laughs> well, we'll look for both of those. And thank, thank you again. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Sure.